today we're going to be doing a very short um, experiment that allows us to keep a stock of our bacterial strain for a very long time, actually indefinitely. So these um, are called glycerol stocks, and what we need for it is a cryo tube. This is a tube that can withstand very cold temperatures. We're going to need a solution of 50% glycerol, and glycerol is a hydrophobic solution that we're going to add to the cells that prevents ice crystals from forming within the cells. And so when we have a freeze or a thaw, we're not going to have cell death that you would have if we didn't have a hydrophobic solution like this. And the last thing we'll need is a liquid culture. So I think yours will be an epinorph tube, but here we're looking at a nice turbid culture um, of our bacteria in a test tube. So we're going to do, we're going to label our cryo tube. Let me loosen up the lid. And I'm going to add 500 microliters of my liquid culture. to the cryo tube. After that, I'm going to add 500 microliters of the 50% glycerol solution. Now what you'll notice about this is it, it's a bit more viscous. So you'll want to pipette the liquid slowly and you'll want to look at the liquid after you pipette it and make sure there's no large bubbles that form. Again, making sure to label this with your date, initials, and any other important information. The next step is just to ensure that these two liquids are properly mixed. We can make use of our vortex and I always like to invert it up and down. Because we have a viscous solution, um, I spend a good 30 seconds or so mixing these two solutions together. And now this will be able to be stored at a minus 80 degree freezer. And as I said, these uh, bacterial stocks, these glycerol stocks can survive for a year, two years, 10 years, um, really kind of indefinitely in this form, um, as long as they're frozen. When we want to um, collect our sample, we pull it out, we put it on ice, the frozen sample, and then you can just take a little bit of the frozen top of the solution and begin a streak plate technique as if you were collecting a colony, but in fact, you're collecting a little bit of this frozen solution.